Hello friends, this is Chris Corsi, author of The Joy Switch, and today I'm going to demonstrate the Shalom My Body exercises from chapter six. All right, these are really easy exercises, friends, but it helps to see them um, rather than me just describe them to you. Now these exercises are all designed to basically stimulate the vagal nerve so that my relational brain, my relational engine comes back online. That's the goal. So calm and quiet my brain and my body so that I can become more relational. Now, one thing you want to know about these three exercises is whenever we exhale on these exercises, we say, uh, we say something. You can count to five or six. You can um, recite your favorite Bible verse. You can recite a favorite song lyric. Uh, my colleagues and I like to uh, quote a psalm when King David was on the run from his enemy Saul who was trying to kill him. And King David wrote, whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you, O Lord. Um, so you pick whatever you, you choose here, but the goal is to use the breath when I exhale to say something. All right. So the first exercise we're going to do is called the yawning to the left to the right. So yawning is good for you. Your body, your brain um, really likes a yawn. It doesn't just mean that I'm tired. What yawning is, is actually it releases good chemicals into your body when you yawn. Olympic athletes will often yawn before a big race. So yawning is good for you, even though you probably learned it's rude or it's not socially acceptable. But the science says it's good for you. So we're going to do the yawning. All right, so first step I do is I'm gonna to turn to the left. I'm gonna take a deep breath in and try to yawn. Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you, O Lord. And I turn to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Again, say whatever you wanna say as you exhale. The goal is to yawn. If you wiggle your jaw, that can trigger a yawn. You know, you're your mirror neurons in your brain, when you see someone yawn, you'll end up yawning. But even trying to yawn will often uh, provoke a real yawn, and that's what we're after there. So simply deep breath in. Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you, O Lord. We only turn to the left or the right because so we, so we don't yawn in somebody's face. There's nothing special about turning to the left to the right. It's just we don't want to yawn in somebody's face when we do these exercises as a group. All right, so that's the first exercise. The second exercise is called breathe and scrunch. Now, this exercise is based on the Moro, M-O-R-O, -O, reflex. This is an, a reflex infants will have, usually under the age of two months. It's when something startles baby and they stiffen. They kind of throw their head and their arms back and they're, they're, they like stiffen their body. It goes like this. <gasps> Just like that. I remember my son reacting when my chocolate lab barked really loud and I was holding my son and he did the moral reflex and he like turned into a board. He was stiff. But then of course uh, he came to and he started crying because he was afraid so I comforted him. But it's just, this is a very fast uh, reflex that we can't control at that young age. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is throw our arms up just like I demonstrated, throw our head back carefully so you don't throw your neck out. All right, deep breath in. Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you, O Lord. And I do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, Jim Wilder's taught me that if you're feeling angry, you're frustrated, if you put on an angry face, that's why it's called breathe and scrunch. If you put on an angry expression, it can help to calm the, the anger response when you do this exercise. Or if you're feeling anxious or afraid, Put on a fear response. So you could go, whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you, O Lord. And what that will do is quiet the fear response. So helpful little tidbit there. Our third exercise is knock to wake up the attachment center. So this is um, knocking at the area right under your collarbone, those muscles there. So what we're going to do is we're going to alternate beats, just about the pace of a heart rate, right? So I take a deep breath in. I massage that area when I exhale. Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you, O Lord. Again, right beneath the collarbone. And deep breath in. I actually speed up the knocking because when you breathe in deeply and quickly, your heart rate should speed up. When you exhale, your heart rate should slow down. That would be a sign of healthy vagal tone. So let's try that again. Ready? One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. 
Friends, it's that easy. These, these exercises are a great way to help wake up your relational circuit. Now, it's kind of awkward to do these things in public, so if you're at work, in the office, you might need to go to the restroom or find some privacy and try these exercises. I've had friends do these when they're on an airplane. They'll very, you know, maybe it's the, just very, you know, calm, cool, and collected there. But what's happened is it, it helps my friends who have fear of flying to actually stay relational and calm down. So try these exercises yourself, see what happens, and enjoy.